Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add or remove quota tab in the device properties in Windows 10. So this is particularly useful if it's missing, which is what I'm assuming most of you guys are here for. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in notepad, best results, should go back with notepad. Go ahead and just lock on that to open it up. And then I'm going to have text in the description of my video. If there's any characters that do not allow me to paste it in the description of the video, I will have a link to a paste bin site that you can just copy it and then paste it into Notepad. So if I can't put it in the description, there'll be a link to this. And then you're just going to paste it into the Notepad file here, like you see. If you feel like typing it out, you're more than welcome to, but you're probably going to mess it up one way or the other. So, so I would highly recommend taking it from my description. And you want to select the File tab now and then Save As. You want to set the save as type, you want to click inside this drop down, set it to all files. And then you want to, for the file name, you want to set it to, you can name whatever you want, we're just going to call it add quota tab. Doesn't really matter, we're not going to keep this file very long. But then you're going to add a .reg to the end, so again, add quota tab .reg. The .reg is very important here, you're definitely going to need that. And like I said, save as type, make sure it's set to all files. Save it to the desktop for this tutorial, and then we're going to click Save. And now that you've done that, we're going to close it here. So all you have to do is just double click on it. It's going to ask you, you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Select Yes. It's going to ask you, sure you want to continue. So before we select Yes, I do want to make a backup of the registry. So in order to do that, we're going to open up the Start menu. Type in Reg Edit. Best results, we're going to back to Registry Editor. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you're receiving a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and select the file tab and then export. File name, just name it the date that you're making the backup. Export range should be all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward process. You just should navigate to the file location at that point. And that's pretty much it for that and now we're going to go ahead and add this to our registry like I was showing and I'm going to select yes and there you go guys simple as that so if you were to go into your local drive you actually would need to restart your computer for this to take effect so you can delete this registry key on our desktop we don't need it anymore if you had the backup don't delete the backup but you can delete the file that we created the quota tab reg file but let's go ahead and restart our computer at this point. Okay, so now if we check out our disk that we want to see the properties for, let's just go on our local drive here. I'm going to go right click on our local drive, select the properties, and there should be a quota tab right here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.